Hey, welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, tonight's episode features a brew out of uh, Thirsty Dog Brewing out of Akron, Ohio. This here is their uh, Old Leg Humper, Old Leg Humper, uh, Robust Porter. And this here is punching in at 5.8% uh, alcohol by volume and uh, 24 IBU. So get a good look at that artwork. You got the uh, old uh, the old dog there looking at the legs of the, the women getting ready to hump them, I guess. So here is Old Leg Humper. Um, bottle cap, typical a Thirsty Dog Brewing bottle cap there. Uh, this here, it says, uh, let's see, what to say on here. Uh, this robust porter is dark brown in color and full-bodied with a multi-sweet taste. Deep roasted, yet silky smooth. Two types of roasted malts, including roasted chocolate malt. Gives this beer its award-winning flavor. World Beer Cup gold medalist in 2002 and bronze medalist in 2000. And it's got the IBU and the... Uh, the alcohol volume listed on there, 24 IBU and 5.8% alcohol by volume. Uh, for the artwork label, the rating up here for uh, artwork, um, you know what? I'm going to give this uh, I'm give this a 4.5 out of 5 on the artwork. Um, I've had this before a while back. I thought it was, uh, I actually picked it up. Basically, the first time I picked this up was strictly because it was a funny looking um, artwork. was funny and the name um it's been probably five years since i've had this so i uh, figured i'd pick it up again and uh give it a shot and see um see if uh, my uh, palette has changed much so anyhow let's go ahead crack this thing open and uh get a pour on it okay All right, we didn't produce much of a head there. Uh, maybe a half finger at most. There you go, so you can see that there. See the Thirsty Dog logo there on the side there. All right, so we got a, uh, it's not like jet black, but it's a darker uh, coffee looking color. Almost an amber tint to it, really, as the light uh, beams off the side of the glass. Not sure. It's looking a little bit darker there on the camera than what it actually is here. Uh, clarity, uh, really can't see through it at all. Even holding it up in the light, maybe a slight silhouette. So fairly, uh, fairly um, dark in color, but uh, again, it's not jet black. Typical uh, porter aroma coming off of this. A roasted maltiness. Uh, but not as roasted as, um, not quite that roasty, malty um, aroma that I get off of some porters. But there is a, a roasted uh, maltiness to it. Maybe um, in picking up a little bit of the chocolate, uh, coffee, um, definitely picking up a darker, sweeter chocolate. So that's about it on the aroma. Um, nothing real special about uh, the way this thing smells. So go ahead and get a drink on this thing. Okay. Um, I think the bottle said full body. I'm getting more of a medium, medium body, medium carbonation. Um, off of this, it does have a it does have a creamy smoothness. Definitely picking up um, on the notes, the chocolate notes in here. Definitely got a sweetness to it, sweet chocolate, dark chocolateness. A typical porter, um, kind of a. A coffee aroma coming off this, maybe a um, some type of a toffee maybe in here too, and that could just be the coffee and the dark chocolate playing off of each other. But anyhow, it's not that bad. Yeah, so on the chart here, 
Um, one, I'll drink this. I'll never drink this again. Five, I'll go out of my way to drink this again. I'm, I'm probably a good uh, 3.8. Uh, 3.8 out of 5. Uh, if you've had this before, um, let me know what you think about it. Again, this is only the second time I've had it, and the first time was about five years ago. I believe I enjoy it quite a bit more this time around. So I'm uh, going with the 3.8 out of 5. That's my thoughts.